I'm here with Grant from CartFab, and in this video, we're dyno tuning the turbo go kart. And our peak torque and horsepower numbers are. All right, so we're here with Grant from CartFab. He's letting us use his dyno. It's gonna be pretty cool, so just a little rundown of what's going on here. All right, guys, so uh, what we got here is a water brake dyno, or what we call is, is a brake or a load, loading dyno. And how it works is you have water coming in just from a garden hose. It goes through here into this pump. It's basically a very inefficient water pump. And the more water you add with this valve, the more water goes in here. And the more water that goes in here, the harder it is to pump it out. So what we do is we're able to, to adjust the throttle position right here with the little uh, twist grip and we'll, we'll run it wide open and then we'll be able to load the engine to control the RPM. So rather than controlling RPM with the throttle, we keep throttle wide open and then we load it to adjust the RPM of the engine. And what we have right here is this is, uh, this is a strain gauge. Basically, it directly measures torque, right? So it has this little a uh, hole right here, and you hang a weight on there, 20 pounds, this will read 20 pounds on the computer. So we're actually able to get the crankshaft torque right at the crank here, um, and it'll give us horsepower. And coming out of the side of the muffler before the first screen is actually a Bosch uh, wideband air fuel ratio sensor, okay? So like when we turn it on here, uh, we've got head temperature, coming off of the spark plug, so it's about 63 degrees. And then right here, we get our air fuel ratio. Right now it's heating up the sensor, because it's basically a thermocouple, and we'll be able to get whatever our air fuel ratio is at whatever RPM we're getting. It won't log this stuff to the dyno, but we will be able to see, uh, looking back, what the horsepower it made and all that stuff. So that should be it. So we're gonna just do a final few uh, steps here, and we'll get it rolling. All right, so we're testing out the water. <laughs> Good, we got a lot of water. Should go more if this makes a lot of power, it should shoot farther. <laughs> That's just probably So now we're going to ditch the pulse pump system and try to go with the pressurized fuel system that we were running before just to see if this changed anything up because it's really dying when it hit boost and from driving it and stuff like we didn't really have that issue so we're going to go back to what we had before and see what happens. and it's going to start recording 6,000 RPM at 5 horsepower or more. If it doesn't make 5 horsepower, it's not even going to start the run. So we'll okay. see what happens. So this should give us a like, smoother curve without all a those A smoother peaks. curve with all these weird things taken out. Okay. If I can hold it right with the <laughs> throttle. Ready? Yeah.
Oh, <laughs> that was a good run. Right. That wasn't even that wasn't even yeah. full throttle. That wasn't even great. close to full throttle. Oh dang! I was just trying to make sure the air fuel ratio was good. We're still lean, mm -hmm. but it made sick horsepower at low <laughs> RPMs Whoa. and high RPMs. Oh. So this is what I would consider a legitimate run. Okay. We were cool. kind of hunting higher up because the air fuel ratio was a little jacked up, but the horsepower up high and down low was high. Oh, <laughs> that was a good one. All right. That was the one where we got what I believe to be a good boost and an okay air fuel ratio, enough to actually produce power. So we're going to go ahead. We couldn't get it at full throttle to make the right air fuel ratio, so this is a part throttle the whole time. So there's definitely room for improvement, but this is the best run so far. So we're gonna go ahead and replay it now and see how much we make. So this should kick in right around 6,000 RPM, reaching five horsepower minimum, and then it's gonna do a reverse sweep. So horsepower, we're already at 7.5, 7.6, 7.8. Okay. So now we're going to take it up all the way until valve float, which is around 6,800 RPM, but I didn't do that. So we're still 7.4, 7.5 above 6,000 RPM. 7, 7, 7, boost right here. Eight horsepower, 8.1. Torque is high. 10, is, 10 foot pounds climbing. Eight, eight We're two. probably at 11 foot pounds right now. Yeah. Crazy. 11 foot pounds or more at around 4,000 RPM. That was the cool part right there. Wow. So and we're, we're maintaining torque probably around 11 plus. Yeah, it's still like 11. Yeah, so we made, Jeez. we broke the eight horsepower threshold. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right. So let's look at the graph now, right? So we're making torque down low. Yeah. Right? And then horsepower, we'll zoom in here to see max horsepower. And this is a legitimate horsepower. Mm -hmm. This isn't some skewed thing. So horsepower right here. Oh. Just under between 8.15 and 8.2 horsepower. Ooh, that's crazy. 3,800 horsepower, 3,800 to 3,900 RPM. Dang. This is at like just 15 for the AFR too. Like. Yeah. So yeah. still, still lean. Still not under full boost. Still not under full throttle, and we're making just under 8.2 horsepower. SAE corrected at the crank. Yeah. So this has some potential. If we can get the, those air fuels. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's see what, let's see what the table says here. Yeah, I'm gonna go buy. We're gonna go buy and go buy after this. For sure. <laughs> Probably, this has. Yeah. We just didn't think it had potential. Like. Yeah. Okay. So max horsepower, 3,900 RPM, 8.185. 8.185. Max torque, 
at 2,900 RPM, 11.5 foot-pounds. Good improvement. There you go. The dyno here, since it is a brake dyno, we were able to get full boost, but it was under partial throttle, and it was kind of lean, right? So I think there are some improvements to be made with jetting and getting the air fuel ratio right so we can get full boost, but the numbers, they're undeniable. Yeah, yeah. The lie detector's right here. Improvement. <laughs> So how much torque did we make? Okay, so yeah, we made 11.5 foot-pounds of torque and we made 8.185 horsepower. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you Car5 for helping us out here with the dyno so we can prove people wrong who didn't think this would make power. So thank you Go Power Sports. A lot of the parts on here are from Go Power Sports, like the muffler, header pipe, carburetor, all of that stuff. So if you're thinking of turbo kitting yourself, here it is. So, uh, thanks guys for coming over. I really appreciate letting me run this thing on the dyno. I was really curious to see. Yeah. And for those of you that don't know, I have my own YouTube channel, CartFab. You can check me out at CartFab.com to get free go-kart plans if you want to build your own. So that's kind of what I do. And uh, that's why we got this dyno here to test everything out. All right, make sure to subscribe and like this video if you want to see some EFI in this thing's future.